Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Sam and I would love to have you guys subscribe so you won't miss out on any new videos. So today I'm really excited because I'm actually going to be sharing with you guys my current favorite fragrances or fragrances I guess because there's a perfume in this. But I just thought it would be fun to share with you guys what fragrances I have been absolutely obsessed with and wearing all month long. I feel like these videos are so fun to do. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. So the first scent I have is from Bath & Body Works and this is Fiji Sunshine Guavatini. This scent is perfect for these warmer months, especially for the summertime. It is one of the best fruity fragrances I have ever smelled in my entire life. Normally, I don't go for super fruity fragrances because they can be a little too childlike for me and just a lot for me to handle, but Fiji Sunshine Guavatini is the best. I just feel like this is the best fruity fragrance because it just has a mixture of like amazing notes in here. Fragrance notes are Sun Kiss Guava, Fresh Orange, and Seaside Jasmine. I love that it has a jasmine note in there. It just smells so fresh and fruity. It's not overly fruity. It's perfect for those of you guys who kind of want a more tropical scent for you guys. This is perfect for vacation or just like day to day. I typically wear this during the daytime. I don't necessarily wear it to nighttime. I don't think this is like a super fancy scent, but you can of course wear whatever you like. So this is the first scent. I highly recommend them. If they are on sale at SAS. I will definitely be stocking up because the scent is just to die for and I really didn't think I was going to love it as much as I did when I first bought it, which is bad, but I ended up being obsessed with it, so yeah. Moving on to Victoria's Secret, here I have Nectar Wave. You guys, this scent is perfect. This whole collection is just absolutely stunning. Someone commented and said like they smell, they felt like this smelled like cotton candies. I definitely agree with that. If you guys use like wax melts, there's this wax melt I use from Walmart called Cotton Candy Clouds, I believe, and it smells just like that, but it's not like a cheap cotton candy smell. It is beautiful. It's like not overly sweet, but it has like a fresh fragrance in there. This just smells so good. And then the agave note in here just sweetens it up a little bit and brings it back together. Beautiful. I pair this with the lotion and another fragrance, which I will show you guys here. I pair those up together and it smells to die for. This scent, I could wear it any time of the day, any occasion. Like, this is perfect for if you guys have somewhere to go at nighttime that's a little more fancy, it's perfect for that. I feel like the scent can just be super universal and it's great for the warm weather. Again, all these scents are amazing for the warm weather. I love it so, so much. Pick this up. The notes are fresh agave and pink berries and I feel like it's genuinely what it smells like. It has a very fruity note, but it also kind of smells very sweet at the same time. It reminds me more of like raspberries in here and strawberries. Oh, beautiful. The lasting power is not amazing on this, I'm not going to lie, but you pair it with a perfume or any perfume you want and you could really make that lasting power last longer, so yeah. Next is another Bath & Body Works scent, and this is Coconut Cream Pie. Now, this is from the Bake Shop collection. Their Bake Shop collection killed it. I am obsessed with the Raspberry Jam Donut and this fragrance. This fragrance has a really strong caramel note, and I love a caramel note. It smells like when you get a caramel macchiato with extra caramel drizzle. That caramel note just comes through. It smells like Starbucks caramel too. So the fragrance notes are toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and golden pie crust. Do I feel like this smells like a coconut cream pie? I just smell straight up um, caramel, but I can smell the toasted coconut flakes. The coconut is not strong or heavy whatsoever, so even if you don't like coconut notes, you would still probably like this if you like a warm fragrance. It smells so warming, so warming, so warm and so inviting. It is perfect. And you guys know I've been addicted to my warm scents lately. I'm just a warm scent lover. So 
pick this up if you haven't yet. Again, I hope they have these at SAS because I really want backups of these. I'm not a backup person normally. Like, I don't have many backups of it, anything. I don't have any backups of anything, actually. But I will be really sad to see this go and if they never bring it back. I also really hope that they bring back Confetti Cake Pop one of these days. I've been dying to try that, and I've been debating on ordering it off of Merc Mercari. Cannot speak today, but it's just so expensive off of there that I'm just hoping and praying that they will bring it back one day. But pick coconut cream pie? Yeah. Okay, so next fragrance is Into the Night. This is a classic. We all know her and we all love her. A lot of people are surprised that I do like this scent because people are always like, you know, you say you hate warm or you hate like musky, like woody scents. And this is definitely more of a musky note or a musky scent. But to me, it just smells like you are that bee. I'm just going to say it like that, okay? Like, you have your full-time job, you got money. That is what this smell reminds me of. Perfect for a girl's night out, date night, something a little more elevated. I don't necessarily wear this too much throughout my day because I feel like it's a little much for daytime. But, of course, like I said, do what you please. The fragrance notes are Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystals, Velvety Rose Petals, and Creamy Patchouli Mocha Musk. Now, I normally don't like amber notes, but... And here, combined with everything, it just smells beautiful. The lasting power on this is amazing. Like, you do not need a lot of this. I have not used a ton of this up because the lasting power is so amazing. Pair it with the body lotion or the cream. You're going to be smelling great all day. And if you don't like this fragrance, definitely try using it on your body a few more times because I was not a fan of the scent at all when I first smelled it. But I continue to spray it on myself and it's my favorite now and why don't we just go ahead and go into a perfume so this is the blanc and it is an eau de parfum from soli notes look at how adorable this little packaging is this is white tea i believe it has white tea in it to me it kind of smells more like green tea i have this on today it just smells so so fresh and clean you want to smell just like clean and fresh Pick this one up. It doesn't have a linen note. It just smells more so really refreshing. Like, I love this scent. The lasting power of these perfumes is not too bad at all either. I would say six, seven hours on a good day. Um, but I like to pair this with my other fresh fragrances. So sometimes I will pair this with, I just got Denim and Daisies, which I paired it with that and it smells amazing. I've heard you can pair it with Gingham and I probably would pair this with Falling Water by Victoria's Secret as well. This is about $20 at Target, so not too, too cheap, but like not super, super expensive either. I think it's a great like in between. It's more on the affordable side, but pick this up. They also have it in a hair and body mist, and they have a bunch of other fragrances, which I love. Next up, we have Victoria's Secret Velvet Petals La Creme. Now, for a little while, I was kind of over this scent, and I was like, I don't know, I'm not a fan of it anymore. But I pulled it out one day and started spraying it, and it smells amazing. And I have fallen back in love with it. You guys can see I've used almost half of it, like about half of it, and it just smells so amazing. It is I wouldn't say this is better than regular velvet petals because the original velvet petals will always have my heart, but this has Queen of the Night Flower and White Sandalwood. I think it's the White Sandalwood that I really do enjoy. I don't know what Queen of the Night Flower is, <laughs> but it smells a little floral, a little fruity. I don't really get that creaminess though. Like when I thought La Creme, I thought this was going to smell like a creamy floral scent at first but it's definitely a little more sour not sour like sour milk I just mean like a little more tangy and tart but I do enjoy this so another fragrance I've been obsessed with is another perfume and I believe I mentioned this in my last fragrance video that I was like obsessed with and I just had to mention it again this is Pink Sugar by Aquilina. You can find this at Marshalls or TJ Maxx or Ross for about $17 to $20. It is very sweet. Keep that in mind. If you don't like a very sweet, sugary scent, you will not like this. Because at first, when I first smelled this, I thought it smelled a little much. And I felt like it just smelled too... What is the word? Like, too strong. And I felt like since it was so sweet, it kind of smelled a little cheap. But... 
my girl Natalie Grace, I always mention her because I just personally like to give credit where credit is due and she always talks about this so I just have to mention her and she recommended this too. She pairs um, pink sugar with uh, Nectar Wave and it smells divine. Now this duo is amazing because if you feel like this scent is too sweet for you, try pairing it with something with, with like more of a sour fruitier note because it will really tone down the sweetness and they just pair so beautifully this just smells like straight up like sugar factory or like a candy store that is exactly what this stuff smells like and also the lasting power on this is crazy good honestly it lasts eight nine hours it's amazing so pick this up if you love a sweet sweet scent Moving on, we have another one from Victoria's Secret. This is from the um, Natural Beauty line, I believe, and it is called Coconut Milk and Rose from the Calm line. The scent is beautiful. If you are just starting to get into rose fragrances and, you know, it's kind of taking you a little while to like rose fragrances, definitely pick this up. It's a great starter fragrance for those of you guys who are trying to get into florals because the coconut milk in here really tones down the rose. And it just smells so elegant and so pretty. Like, it just smells pretty. When I think of, like, the prettiest person on earth, I would think that they smelled like this. It's so delicate. The lasting power is not great on this. I'm not going to lie, you guys. It's not great. I would say, like, three hours maybe. But I really, really do drench myself and spray myself down. I also pair it with a matching lotion. Keep that in mind. I typically like to wear this, um at night time before bed because it just really relaxes me and makes me feel so pretty so yeah this is another one and they typically go for 12 to 14 dollars so pick it up if you want okay so a next fragrance that i have is one that i feel like i haven't talked about in a little while and this is cactus blossom first off i love this packaging like forever red has this packaging and confetti daydream also has this packaging and black cherry merlot but this scent is amazing now is it anything is it something that's super super you know stand out wow like this is my top three favorite scents no it's not but it is still a really beautiful fragrance the scent notes are cactus flower petals sun-kissed coconut and fresh sparkling lemon let's just spray this and give her a whiff I can definitely smell that hint of like lemon in here there's definitely a little citrus in here I'm not sure what cactus smells like what else does this have sun-kissed coconut I can smell a little coconut note in here but it is beautiful. It's something that's very light. It's not something in your face. So if you just want to start off with fragrances that don't give you headaches, this is definitely one I would recommend. It smells beautiful. It just smells so dainty and feminine and girly. I always say that, but it really, truly does. Lasting power is okay, like three, four hours. Again, these are all body mist. So when I say that the lasting power is three, four hours, that to me is like pretty decent because like I said, they're just body mist. They're not perfumes. And I like reapplying throughout the day to have that more potent smell. So I don't mind it. So finally, we have our last fragrance to talk about. This is Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction Radiant. The Radiant line did not disappoint. I love the Bare Vanilla Radiant as well. That one smells amazing. The scent notes are Vibrant Pineapple and Pomelo Splash. Pomelo is... What is pomelo? I think it's like a mixture of a grapefruit and an orange, I think. Something like that. Don't quote me. But this scent is very citrusy, very fruity. I can definitely smell the pineapple in here. It's kind of like, let's see. I don't want to get this wrong for you guys, but yeah, it's very pineapple-y because you definitely get a very strong citrus note with that pineapple zest in there. It smells beautiful though, perfect for any time, any occasion, because it gives off this fresh kind of um, element to it where I personally feel like it can be worn any time of the day. Beautiful. I pair this with the uh, regular Pure Seduction Lotion and it lasts a pretty decent amount of time. Also this with um, Pink Sugar would also be really great because it's more of a sour, citrus, tangy fragrance. But this is the last fragrance I have to share with you guys, and yeah. 
All right, you guys, so that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the fragrances that I have been obsessed with this month and I've been rocking and wearing and smelling like. Please let me know what scent you guys have been obsessed with this month or what scents I would love to know. I love getting new fragrance recommendations and you guys always have amazing recommendations. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys so much and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Uh, uh.